Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Nichi Joe, episode number 24, Reaction. Alright, the previous episode. Um, uh, quite a few things happened. Uh, first of all, there was that uh, section with Mio's sister uh, <laughs> making like a weird uh, jam make, made out of fermented fish or whatever. And like, you know, the whole shenanigan with that and uh, her tormenting Mio by like, you know, feeding her that. Then there was that uh, part with Sakurai Sensei and her brother, and uh, the the part where uh, Sakurai Sensei's brother he tries to um, bring that guy, the teacher, the male teacher, to become the advisor and all that, you know, like stuff, blackmailing him, kind of, you know, <laughs> and in the end, kind of bribing him with a picture of Sakurai Sensei and all that stuff, and uh, yeah, like these type of things happened, and the final section was the part which was kind of uh, you could say uh, endearing where we see my because obviously uh, Hakase in the previous episode wanted to play with everyone but then the whole thing with Mai's dogs happened and uh, she like you know she was talking about that that's why uh, Mai goes to Hakase's place and tries to make friends with her uh, by trying different methods of you know kind of making uh, giving her stuff and all things but Hakase was not having it in the end, she realizes that, um, you know, she likes sharks. So she kind of drew her pictures of it and played with her for a moment and became friends with her. And in the end, we see her kind of smiling. And yeah, that was that was nice, really nice in the end. So yeah, uh, that was that. Now let's begin with this episode. This is episode number 24. We're almost at the end. Uh, two more episodes after this, I think 26 episode this series has. So yeah, all right. Um, let us begin. So I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Just this. Oh boy, this sensei. Oh boy. Now we're going all out or something? Oh. What? Why? What is she doing? No, please. What what are you doing? <laughs> that was a meal, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, will she jump? Oh, she thought that was Sakamoto. Oh no, oh my god, yeah, you're hospitalized now. <laughs> oh, I realized that she thought that was Sakamoto. That's why I was following. You know, Sakamoto lives with now, no, that's why. I don't know what he was planning, but she was probably planning to kidnap Sakamoto and I don't know, something like that. Probably. <laughs> Mm. 
All right. Oh boy. Oh, the the shadow hopping thing. You you should only walk on the shadows. Ah, Sasahara. <laughs> Look at him. Her. Oh no, it's, it's going to make like a whole rumor of this. Oh. Yep, Mio will be extremely curious about this. Wait. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. What is she holding? What is that? Wheat? <laughs> she knew it. Oh, she wants to hear more. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh boy yeah she's she was freaking out Hey! <laughs> oh no! Yeah? No, stop! <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, you just what did you She's going to she's going to think of some delusion or something I feel like. Yeah, there you go. Um <laughs> I'm wondering <laughs> does every people who like you know write a dozens and everything is this what goes in their mind when they think about like a plot or something <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she wrote a whole damn plot of a story. <coughs>
<laughs> I was a, it was a joke, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she she didn't even know his name. My god. Yeah. <laughs> Whacked in the head. <laughs> oh no. Wow. All right. What? Okay. <laughs> well, ha, huh? what? Oh, well, you know, got money for it. Better than nothing. Oh my God, this. <laughs> Scream. Oh, nice. Oh, that's new sister, isn't it? Yep. And is this? Yeah. <clears throat> what? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but she's a genius. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Asa has been doing kendo? Oh really? Okay <laughs> Well about that <laughs> Acting club Oh my god. <laughs> Funny guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's why. Oh, really? Is he that good? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Once every three days. Yeah, she's going to end up coming tomorrow. Oh boy. Oh my, yo, that's your sister. <laughs> oh 
Oh, the crows are coming back. <clears throat> okay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh boy. Jump. Oh, is, is Nana going to, yeah, do the, oh. <laughs> Oh, obviously she's keeping that aside. <laughs> well, what about the vegetables? <laughs> oh, those are onions. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Sakamoto-san eats vegetables. What? What are what's up? Why is it sweating? Oh. Oh boy. Oh, she'll be like, oh, I'm also sick. <laughs> yeah, she's going to do that. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, onions are bad for cats as far as I know. I think so, isn't it? Yeah. It's like poisonous or something for them. Hmm. Uh, I know, she's probably going to use this as an opportunity to be like i'm also sick yep there you go <laughs> chocolate and <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah no you're not <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he cannot, yeah, eat onions. And <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? It's a good compromise, you know. It's like, leave me alone. Oh boy. Oh no, hypnosis. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a cat? Oh boy. Who was? <laughs> Thomas. Hey, why why are they staring at the camera? What the hell? That was weird. <laughs> Oh, maybe a mangaka or like a cartoon. Is he a mangaka? There you go. 
Yep. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. What? Uh. Melon juice. Banana juice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Oh, is it Sasahara? Yeah, Sasahara. <laughs> hey, he's just randomly playing soccer. <laughs> Dove has been sh What? These analogies that he uses. <clears throat> Ask for the money back. No, it's not. It is cloudy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, team. <laughs> What? No. Um. Hey, do what? Hey. <laughs> I found a coin. <laughs> well. Okay. Wait, what? It didn't come out. Um, is this broken? Well, God doesn't want you to have a beverage, so. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wait. <laughs> What's happening? Won't yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> Weren't you supposed to upturn? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, what? Okay, as long as you're happy. <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> oh, this is the night. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> <laughs> oh no, hey, move, run. She's going to sh shoot you with that. And <laughs> she's drawing. Oh, uh, they also used to... Ah, uh, that's how they know each other. 
Like all of them kind of went to the dojo, so. <laughs> Sister. Okay, that's it. No. Uh, is this is a song about Icarus flying close to the sun. Yeah, I think it was made of wax or something. That's why he fell down as it flew close to the sun. Yep, it's that song. All right. No. Nagai Ichiro. Nagai Ichiro. All right. Let me check out who Nagai Ichiro is. I did not recognize that voice. I'm probably not <coughs> acquainted with this voice actor. Uh, Ichiro Nagai um oh uh, oh it's been he's been doing voice acting for a long time 1964 oh Netero okay Hunter Hunter Netero ah yeah 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 okay <coughs> and who else um and unfortunately, I have no idea of the other shows that he has done. Only Netro is the one who I'm acquainted with. And yeah, so yeah, I can, I can, I can hear the voice now, Netro, yep. All right, so there you go. <clears throat> so this episode, um, we begin with um, this sensei, I, I don't remember her name, the one who always tries to get uh, to trap Nano. <laughs> and uh, yeah it's so funny like uh, so basically like I, can, I didn't realize this at the beginning the picture the picture that she was looking at was when uh, nano the kind of the encounter with sasahara you know the whole book encounter that's the picture that she took so that means this scene that we see in the beginning of the episode was actually what happened later on and uh, yeah so that's kind of interesting so you know like the different scenes that we usually see are not chronological that would prove you know like they, they might be bringing up some scenes before some scenes or something like that because this scene after after seeing the picture we, we see this scene later on so at that moment she was probably somewhere hiding snapping pictures of them <laughs> but either way uh, she is again trying to find out a way to capture Nano and she suddenly sees a cat and I was at first I was so confused I was like why is she doing this why is she trying to follow the cat no, like it makes no sense like she stands up on the uh, fence and starts like you know walking around like the cat <clears throat> and then later on i realized she thought it was sakamoto that's why she was following it and she probably knows sakamoto's association with nano but i don't know she probably just thought that oh I'll let me just you know kidnap sakamoto and then try to lure her out or something i'm, I'm pretty sure she was planning on something like that but it turns out, yeah, there was some other random cat and she realizes that later on and then she's stuck. 
<laughs> and everyone's like, who the hell is this person? And in the end, she jumps down. Oh boy, but unfortunately, since she's not a cat, she probably got injured there. I'm not sure, but either way, <clears throat> that was a failure. Okay, now, then the next scene we see um, Sasahara and uh, Nano. You know, they're like, uh, she drops her book, and this is, this is the part where she probably somewhere, she was hiding somewhere, and snapped a picture. But either way, the dro book drops, and oh my god, as soon as I saw, like, you know, Sasara picking it up, and Yuko there, and I'm like, yep, Yuko's going to make a big deal out of this. And that's what she did. She, she, she just goes to class. The first thing she does is go, <laughs> go to Mio, and she's like, oh, big news, you know? Like, I know, I, I saw Saka, uh, Sasahara and uh, uh, Nano you know, together in the hallway. And, uh, you know, and Mio is like, mm hmm, okay, so, yeah, and at first she was like, why is she not re re reacting to this? Because that's definitely the reason why she told him that. She told her that. She wanted a reaction out of her, you know. <laughs> and as soon as she sees that she's not reacting, she's like, okay, that was weird. I thought she was going to react. But never mind, tries to go back to her uh, table and Mio's like, yeah, what else? And obviously she, she's listening to it and she wants to hear more about it. <laughs> Yuko's like, what? And she's like, yeah, what's more? Like, you know, you were saying something. Please continue. And like, she's freaking out, obviously. And she says like, oh, nothing happened. They just, you know, like just picked the book up and gave it to her. And uh, <laughs> and then Mio's like, ah, thank God! Like, you know, you're you're a jokester, you know, like haha, like and slapping him her on his her back. And here again, another thing we see is we saw this before as well. Like, uh, whenever Mio calls Yuko stupid or something like that, you know, or dumb, she flips out completely. And here she starts doing that multiple times. She's like, oh, are you are you stupid or something? You know, I'm, are you that much foolish? And you know you like you know like you know you're acting like you know like this. Uh, I never thought you were that dumb. Ha ha ha. You know like just just saying this multiple times and Yuko switch gets flipped. And she says like an outrageous statement. She's like, oh, they were like you know like they were <laughs> they were kissing. And then she starts making up some random things. Like she's like, oh, like you know like they went to the courtyard. Sasara took his out his. Is uh, you know like shirt and then he said like oh this yakisoba pan is delicious and some random stuff that probably came to her head she just starts saying all of that and uh, you know like obviously Mio is affected by this Mio is like what and then <laughs> suddenly Yuko realizes like oh I need to do my uh, you know like my, my report goes back and it doesn't respond at all and Mio needs to know what's happened after that. She's like, she's going to Yuko and she's like, what else? What else? And she's not like you know, listening to her. So this is what happens, you know, like, especially for people who are like, not only I was going to say for authors and all, but not only them, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people like, you know, have this, like where they go into like delusions, like they, they think of something you know, some situ situation, imaginary situations, and they go on like a full on delusion mode on that, you know, like just just like makes up like a whole story out of it <laughs> and since she is a you know like a doujin artist or a mangaka uh, you can say like her imagination is a little bit more active than you know ordinary people and yeah so from the little bits and pieces of random just uh, information that yuko gave her uh, which was obviously false all of them were false you know she started making up a whole story and the story was was crazy like <laughs> this was like oh my god like there's so many things in this story like you know like random stuff of like you know nano and Ko, uh, sasahara and then like you know like nano uh, sasahara just taking out his shirt and he's like oh delicious this yakisoba pan and nano acting like a typical sundre you know <laughs> And you know, like these type of things, she, she's just writing, and I'm like, oh my god, like yeah, like um, like this is this is something that would definitely, uh, like you know, happen if like you know if Mio was given these type of information, like she was definitely going to like write like a whole 
whole story out of this because her delusional power is a little bit higher and uh, not only that she starts writing I, th I think she was writing them down as well in the book or something yeah but either way she just she's just going on full crazy over here and after that she herself realizes what she's doing and she's like what the hell i, I need to stop and uh, then she's like all right let, you know what let me go and confront them they go to the outside you know in the hallway and there's still nano and um Tassara was there and i'm like wait a minute like yeah this part was a little bit weird because they were so what they're just standing over there you know like he she dropped her book quite a while ago and they were still standing there i'm like okay <laughs> anyways Tassara takes his leave you know picks the book up gives it to her takes his leave and uh, mio is like oh you know yuko what happened and uh, you know uh, no sorry not yuko sorry uh, nano nano what happened you know you were with sasara and she's like sasara who's sasara like there's there's the situation he, she doesn't even know his name so she's like that person and he's like he's like oh yeah like you know he, he picked up my book and she's like anything else she's like no nothing else happened and as soon as she realizes what the hell happened she goes to yuko whacks her in the head yeah like there you go like this this whole thing like like <laughs> like what else can i say we've seen yuko go in uh not yuko sorry mio go in full delusion mode before as well and i remember like you know like i think like multiple instances where this happened before and yeah she has an extreme active imagination like obviously that's definitely needed if you want to be a mangaka or something like that but yeah like just just the storyline that she completely made out of the random information that yuko gave her like all the things that yuko uh, told her were extremely random and they were no way interconnected with each other like just just random things she said so using them and connecting them, them to make like a whole story like a whole shoujo manga or whatever <laughs> i'm like yeah yep she she definitely is going to become like a good manga in the future if she decides to pursue that goal <laughs> oh boy all right and then we get a little bit of helvetica standard and then there's that little um skit of that girl saying like this part was so hilarious like when they were, when that girl was saying like oh you tell me who you like uh, i'm not going to tell anyone if i tell anyone I, i'll give, i'm going to give a million yen to you i was thinking like you know what let her tell you know let her tell everyone you know a million yen is a lot of money so <clears throat> you know like let her tell and she'll get the money then that's what she exactly does and it's so funny that <laughs> no hesitation as soon as she sell, tells her <laughs> she just stands up goes to everyone tells them like oh this is what's happening and while the other friend is just just flabbergaster mouth open just looking at the situation and it doesn't stop at that like at least she has like you know the basic what can i say like you know like uh, you know like to actually like you know keep his her promise she had that thing in her she she just brought the one million in and dropped it in front of him her and she obviously she cannot say anything you know like what can she even say will she say like what the hell did you like you know why did you do that obviously she cannot say that because she said if i tell i'll give you a million yen and that's what she did so technically you know nothing wrong with this she did what she's going to say so she kept her promise so i'm pretty sure she was so conflicted with the money in front of her <laughs> but yeah good thing she got the money <clears throat> all right now the next part is uh oh we get again like you know the random scenes of um the the professor um i always forget her name the one who's interested in nano her just looking at nano and like you know like with binoculars and stuff like random scenes of that and uh, <laughs> yeah now the next scene we see is in the kendo dojo and uh, here um <clears throat> naganohara uh, is here with like uh, mio's sister uh, Misato is here and Misato's sister is also there uh, obviously all of them are part of the same dojo that's why they know each other and uh, Misato and, and uh, Naganohara both of them have like a little match and Naganohara is extremely talented obviously she just 
gets the point and then in the end gives her like a shogi piece of the night i remember she also used this same shogi piece in like a i think like in a, in a in a food or something she just put it inside it on top of it as far as i remember i don't remember what exactly it was but something like that she did before i remember <laughs> so anyways uh, she gives it to her and yeah and when they're going back uh, Miho, I think Mihoshi, that's her name, isn't it? Misato's sister, yeah. Misato and uh, her sister, they were talking about the whole situation. And they, like, you know, like, Misato's sister says, like, oh, like, Naganohara, she's, like, a complete monster. Like, you know, the audacity, she says that she actually becomes weaker if she practices. Like, this is, like, you know, like, a, like a, this is what you call a genius. And, uh, you know, like, it's, it's so unfair, you know? Like, we, like we, we bust our back trying to like you know become better at this and she just she's just naturally talented at this it doesn't even come to the dojo and always wins and uh, <clears throat> okay so yeah all this was happening and then she's like um oh who do you practice with and misato's sister is like oh i i practice with her sometimes the instructor and um uh, sasahara now here i was a little bit surprised i was like wait sasahara goes to the dojo but then obviously I realized, so basically all of them are connected in a way, like everyone, like everyone here, like Misato, Misato's sister, uh, mm, uh, Mio, Mio's sister, Sasahara, everyone knew each other from the childhood. Like, that's why, you know, like, like, that's why I guess Mio likes Sasahara, because they were childhood friends, if you'd say, and, you know, same, similar thing here as well. So, yeah, now... Misato's like Sasahara, but he he comes here and she's like, yeah, like obviously she she he's from the Kendo dojo, so obviously he would come here. And uh, then you know like the whole uh, topic comes up with uh, is he in the Kendo club or not? And here we can see Misato is obviously frustrated because Sasara never asked her about you know like that not asked but told her that I'm going to a different club like the acting club. I think that's what she said and she just he just went over there and that's why she was a little bit frustrated she's like ah he didn't even ask me that he's not joining the kendo club and like you know what the hell <laughs> and uh, you know like yeah so <laughs> i love how misato's sister is like but if you take kendo away from sasara he's just a funny guy <laughs> well you know Anyways, and in the end, Misato was like, okay, so if you're telling me, I am I am going to, like, you know, invite him to the kendo club. Just because you're telling me, you know, like, I don't want to do that. Obviously, you know, like, she's a sundere. And uh, in the end, <laughs> Miyoshi tries to tease her and says that, oh, like, you know, like, uh, what did she say? Just a second, why don't you get married or something? Oh, no, uh, why don't you confess? Yeah. And this part was crazy, like the moment, you know, it took for her to take out a rocket launcher and just blast her. Like, like I said, this girl is a complete video game character. She brings out weapons out of thin air, <laughs> like in video games. <laughs> like she has a goddamn rocket launcher and then she just summons it from thin, <laughs> thin air. <laughs> oh boy. And yeah, there you go. That was funny. Okay, and then the next part, uh, oh, again, uh, boy, that, that professor keeping an eye on Nano, uh, you know, like, yeah. And then the next part we get to see is uh, of Sakamoto, Nano, and uh, um, Hakase. So Hakase, obviously, she doesn't like uh, onions. Like, like, so I'm guessing these are like, um, these are not onions. These are, I think like these are, what are those called? green onions aren't they let me check i think these are green onions i think that's what they're called aren't they yeah green onions yeah so like onions are different like like they call this onion and i'm like what onion and then i realized like oh these are green onions and uh okay so she's like oh those are nasty i don't like it they're bitter um that's why i don't eat it and she just only ate the um the meat and she's like, oh, I have finished. Obviously, Nano is not having it. Nano's like, what the hell? Like, quickly eat your onions. And <laughs> I love how she's like, oh, look at Sasa, uh, Sakamoto. 
And I'm like, what? Sakamoto, I don't think Sakamoto eats onions. <laughs> but then see, we see Sakamoto almost dying, you know, like in front of his food. You know, he's just, you know, sick and sweating and everything. And uh, she, obviously Nano's concerned. Nano's like, oh, what happened to you? You know, and then she's like, all right, let me, let me put you in bed. You know, um, what do you want to eat? You, you want some milk? You want something else? And Sakamoto's like, it's okay. I, I don't have any appetite. It's just... Just, just like leave me here, like you know, like just don't, you know, bother with me. And now he, as soon as this happened, I was thinking like this is definitely what Hakas is going to plan something. Hakas is definitely going to say something like, "Oh, I'm also sick, so give me whatever, you know, uh, like whatever I want." Because you know, she's like a little kid. Like obviously, little kids do that. <laughs> and uh, he sees that and from where the hell she gets that idea she just brings like onions and she's like oh these onions sakamoto can eat that i think sakamoto wants to eat it <laughs> sakamoto's like you want to kill me or something like yeah i think uh, yeah onions are poisonous for cats or something like that i think he, like i've heard this multiple times before and uh, yeah and i think there's a few other things as well which are not good for cats like, i think i don't know where i've heard like a few other things that are not good for cats. Onion is the biggest one. Like you should not feed onions to your cat. So <laughs> yeah. Now after that, uh, obviously, like I thought, Sa 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 um, Hakase is definitely going to make a plan of just acting as if she's sick so that she can get anything and everything. So she's like, oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm also sick. You know, like I'm. I want chocolate. Obviously, Nano knows she's just bluffing, and she's like, "No, like you know, you're not getting anything. You know, Sakamoto, uh, sick. Like, let me, like, let me bring out some milk for her, uh, for him." And <laughs> Hakas is like, "No, I want chocolate. I'm sick. That's why." And she's like, "All right, then have medicine." And she gets pissed off. She's like, "Yeah, every time you prefer Sakamoto, you always like, you know, give stuff to Sakamoto. You never like, you know, uh, give stuff to me. Sa Sakamoto always gets the preferential treatment." And I love how she goes to the corner and just sits down, <laughs> angry, and <laughs> Nano, <laughs> Nano goes to her, and Nano's like, you know what, you know, I like you more than Sakamoto, you know, and obviously Hakas is very happy. Hakas is like, really? All right, then give me chocolate. And she's like, all right, so I will give you chocolate if you eat your onions. And she's like, no, I'm not going to do that and starts throwing a tantrum and all of that and in the end nano was like <laughs> she's like like no you, you you're saying that you like me more but you're not giving me stuff and nano then laughs and nano's like yeah like i like you both so and that was that was nice that was a cute little section obviously sakamoto is not having a good time at all but he'll be fine hopefully within a few days <laughs> after he gets enough rest so yeah now after that um oh my god that the, the next part was the hypnosis part i love how <laughs> i love how uh what's the name uh yuko kind of jumps up like a cat and just eats tries to eat the hypnosis coin and the next part this part was kind of interesting you know like in the in the elevator um there's that lady that comes in and she's like oh like you know seventh floor please and the other lady was like suddenly looks at the you know upside you know at, at towards the camera and the and the other lady is also looking and this part i have to say this part was a little bit weird because it seems as if they're looking at us you know like us like obviously they're looking at the the C i'm pretty sure they're looking at the security camera you know like since the security camera usually the position of the security cameras are in, in that position that's why they're looking at up like this but since the the camera angle of this scene was like that you know it seems as if they're like directly staring at us you know us we people who are just you know and it looks weird it looks as if like they're going to break the fourth wall or something <laughs> i don't know but yeah, like i don't think i don't think i've ever seen yeah like you know obviously animes Characters never look directly at the camera, never, and it's, it, unless and until they are actually fourth wall breaking, you know, um, where they like you know there's like certain animals that kind of fourth wall break. They look at the camera and say stuff. So 
unless until it's that type of a situation yeah no character looks at the camera like that so it is kind of you know uh, like a like a little weird feeling an unnerving feeling whenever you see characters in an you know like an anime or something like looking at the camera like especially this is this, this feeling is a little bit more especially if it's anime or like you know like something that actually doesn't exist like for example like actors and actresses you know who original people like you know, human beings you know who does movies and stuff if they look at the camera and say something you won't feel anything but like you know the 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 fact that like an animated character who doesn't have a will on their own you know if they look at the camera and like you know like look at you just looks at you it's a very unnerving feeling you know like especially because they're animated character because they don't exist like that type of a thing so yeah weird feeling anyways um enough about that all right and the next part it is uh neo has gone to you know, sakurako sensei is like oh you're you know like what do you want to become in the future and she's wrote, written mangaka obviously i knew that's what she would write and she's getting embarrassed at it and you know sakurako sensei is like oh that's good you know like you you uh, you actually draw well so yeah you, you might be able to do it you know, I, i'm supporting you and yeah she was embarrassed in the end and then the next part obviously this part mio <laughs> tries to buy some juice from the vending machine melon juice for um mm, yuko yeah and another juice for herself or something banana juice yeah and she's like oh today my like you know my, uh, my pocket money is kind of like you know less so let me just like not buy something extremely expensive drops the coin and uh Takam Tatara gets it and i love the fact that he is just so calm and like obviously Mio is just stuttering she cannot talk because it's Sasara over there and uh, you know she's just standing there just just getting embarrassed now obviously Sasara's you know up to her his old antics again he's like haha is like you know this is is this yours she's like yeah and then he's like oh thank you for this <laughs> i'm like what i don't think that's how the conversation is supposed to go i'm I, i'm pretty sure the conversation is supposed to go like oh is this yours here you go i'm returning this to you but she just says oh thank you for thank you for this <laughs> he's like ah, i didn't have money today god made it possible for me to get something and he he's like he just keeps talking about divine like you know intervention like you know like some kind of a uh, like you know stuff and uh, the heavens must have smiled upon me you know all that stuff she's he's just saying goes to this vending machine puts the uh, coin in clicks on the thing the cup doesn't fall down and he's like what is going on he looks at it and he's for a moment he's just stumped he just keeps looking at it un, unsure what to do and then he's like this vending machine is a little trickster <laughs> oh my god like this is just and then you know um okay then what does he do oh then then the th cup falls down and i'm so confused here i'm like what is going on the cup is upturned he's just looking at it and mio is also looking at it you know in that manner and obviously you know the 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 the, the drink the 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 beverage is going to fall because what's supposed to happen the cup's supposed to be up like you know like this you know upturned so the ice will fall the 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 beverage will fall that's how it's supposed to go but this thing is on the other side so it starts falling and sasa doesn't do anything all the milk just spills out <laughs> the, the little the little portion you know like in the uh, bottom of the cup you have this this little portion you know uh, for the cup to just stand that portion gets filled up with milk and you know just me was just looking at that scene sasa was just looking at that scene and when it's over sasa takes it up drinks it a little bit and he's like what does he say oh no he's just looking at the sky he was like i think i've gotten close to sasahara today wow the optimism and from the background yuko's like mio where's my um where's my uh, juice and on the other side uh, misato's just thinking about 
you know, like Sasara and uh, gets embarrassed, gets into that little thing of her, that costume. And while this was happening, uh, Mio is thinking about Sasara and like, you know, sketching his picture, looking at the moon. And she's like, oh, is Sasara also looking at the moon like me? Uh, <laughs> her sister comes in and kind of like, you know, kind of jokes around with her. And uh, here we kind of get to see that uh, the connection, like I really did not realize that Mio <clears throat> knew Sasara from her childhood, which makes sense, you know, because her sister goes to, to the dojo. So obviously she must have went there as well. And Sasara also went. So then I realized like, oh yeah, so that means they actually knew each other from the childhood. And that's probably why she likes him. So yeah, so that if you look at it in this way, that would mean that both uh, Mio and Misato are Sasara's childhood friend, if you look at it like that. So something like that, yeah. But anyways, and that's where it ends. Another hilarious episode. So yeah. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. And that's it guys. Okay, and um, before I end this video, let me say um this is the 24th episode. Two more episodes are left. So I am going to like you know, after this video is uploaded, uh within like you know the next day. I'm going to make a community post if you want to keep an eye on on it like you know uh, like be sure to keep an eye on the community tab because i'm going to make a poll of uh which slice of life show is going to replace this nichijo and uh, it won't be a seasonal anime it'll be one of the shows that i've always wanted to watch you know um and uh, yeah i'm going to make a poll and uh, it'll have like four or five options something like that you can vote whichever you want and you know it'll, it'll be you know like for the for the rest of the two weeks after this you know like i'll see whichever gets the maximum vote i'll start that after nichijo ends and i'll replace that show with uh this show with that so yeah just keep an eye out uh within like you know within the next 24 hours i'll make a community post with the poll on it and if you're interested you can vote so yeah anyways that's it so thanks for watching yeah i'll see you guys in the next week with another a video of Nichi Joe. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.